Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can save your voicemails on your iPhone. So there comes a time when they do begin to fall off. So if you're saving them for, uh, you know, to have memories for people who are either, you know, passed away or folks who, you know, may pass away soon, uh, and you want to have these to, to go back and listen to for years to come, uh, you do want to make sure that you go about saving these in one of these types of ways that I'm going to show you today. So as you can see here, I have opened up my voicemail. I have a couple of voicemails here from my dad and a buddy of mine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just tap on one of the voicemails. As you can see, I have all of the options. I have the transcription there. I also have the ability to delete the voicemail. But what we want to do is we want to tap on the save or the square icon with an arrow. Uh, you'll see it right there next to the person's name. Uh, not the eye with the circle around it, just the square with the arrow. Tap on that option there. This is going to give you all of the different options to save this, uh, whether you want to send it to someone or save it directly. So I'm going to show you a couple of ways to go about doing this. Now, the first one is you can airdrop this. So as you can see here, I can airdrop this to my Mac. So if I go here and I just tap on my Mac, it's going to say sending, and then it will send that audio file over to my Mac. Now, if you don't understand or really care about airdropping, what you could do is you could just message it to yourself, but eventually that would fall off as well. And we obviously could email it, you know, so if you want to, you could go here and go to mail or Gmail and use your email app and just basically go to Gmail here. And then once we've done that, you know, send it to yourself by typing in your email address, you know, give it a subject name there and then just send it. And that'll send that audio file to your email of choice. And now the last and probably best way to save your voicemails is to just save it to your device by saving it to your iCloud files or your files app on your device. So what we want to do now is to scroll down to where you see the option that says save to files. Just tap on that option that says save to files. And then you have the option to put it on your iPhone here by just selecting that. Or what we can do is we can even create a new folder. It gives us that opportunity in the upper right hand corner of our screen by just tapping on the folder in the addition icon. And then we can just give that folder a name. We'll name that voicemail tap on the done option there. And as you can see here on my phone, it says voicemail. And if we just select that and then tap the save button in the upper right hand corner, that will now be saved to our device. So all I'll do to locate that is to search or find the files app on my iPhone. It's got a blue folder on it and then just tap on that. And as you can see here, my recent files, this is the very top one there, that voicemail that I just saved. You can tap on that guy and play it back and you can send and receive it as much as you want. And that's it. That is how you save a voicemail uh, and save your memories uh, on your iPhone. If you have any questions, please put those in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching the video. If it helped you out, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more great tech tutorials and tips just like this. And I will see you guys in the next video.